Alright, pet spotlight for today will be on the Emperor Crab, one of the few really easy to obtain tier 1 pets. Out of all the pets that are tier 1, uh, there's only a couple that you can actually couch out in the wild, and Emperor Crab is one of them. You get him in this little area right here. Actually, you know what? I don't have my mouse shown, so you probably can't see it. Just look where my marker is at on the map. You can see him. You get him over here. In fact, there's like Emperor Crab uh, right here in front of me. You see? Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably have this zoomed in, or maybe I'll zoom out. Yeah, so you just get him over here. There's only two breeds available. There's the Power Power and the HH breed. You want the Power Power one. That's the one that's tier one. Let's see, what other pets are there that you can get out in the wild that are tier one? I think it might just be uh, the Emperor Crab and the Arctic Hare. And even Arctic Hare is like iffy on his tier one status. Emperor Crab is definitely tier one. Well, the Arctic Hare is more like a super high tier two, but basically tier one just because he counters undead so well. Okay, so anyways, Emperor Crab. You get him over here in the Dread Waste, in the watery areas. Uh, he's really great for a couple of reasons. One, he's an aquatic type pet. Aquatic type pets take 50% less damage from, not 50%, I think it's 35% less damage from undead moves. And the aquatic racial reduces the damage of dots by 50%. And the reason, uh, the thing that undeads do very often in the meta is throw out really hard hitting dots like haunt where where is my unborn valcat i can show you what haunt is uh here it is haunt is this neat little ability right here where it's the hardest hitting dot in the game and it's just a really damn good ability you see a lot of unborn valks and ghostly kids ghastly kids just because they can throw out taunt and emperor crab he has like double protection from that he takes 35 I think it's 35% less damage just because he has the type advantage against the undeads plus his racial reduces dot damage by 50% and he can just throw up a shell shield shell shield he no longer takes dot damage he just straight up stops taking dot damage from like almost every single dot I don't think there is a dot that can do damage to him through shell shield even though shell shield isn't really all that great it just completely stops damage just because of his you know, racial, where you just take 50% less damage from all dots, doesn't matter what type they are. Plus, he takes 35% less damage from undead abilities, and it just reduces damage from everything by 94. And since he has such a high attack power value, uh, the Emperor Crab is like tied with like, I don't know, a couple other pets for having like the fifth highest attack power value in the game at 357. There's the two highest attacking power pets in the game are Little Ragnaros and this one Cricket that's not viable, but Little Ragnaros is tier one just because he has the highest attack power value. And the Little Ragnaros attack power value isn't even that much higher than the Emperor Crab's. Emperor Crab is just really high attack power value. And attack power value does increase the amount your shell should absorb, so he is the highest absorbing shell shield in the game. See right here, the Magical Crawdad. His shell shield only reduces damage by 70 from each attack, while the Emperor Crab reduces it by uh, 94. He will still probably take no damage. Uh oh, I'm getting hit. Run away! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the Magical Crawdad, he still does really good against the dots too but Emperor Crab can do really well against dots and he actually hits really fucking hard with his snap ability or surge either one is viable you can choose some people like to choose surge it allows you to do really good against if you're running into a lot of elemental pets but usually snap is a safer bet just because it hits harder by default and you don't have to take the hit and damage but surge is also pretty damn good because there's a lot of pets that are tier one based on their ability to go first like fiendish imp if you're able to if you have Surge and you're going against a Fiendish Imp, you're going to give him a hard time, which is always, always fun to do, but, you know, Snap just hits harder. So both of his one abilities are viable. And for this one, you usually just take Healing Wave. Because heals in pet battles are based off of your power. And since Emperor Crab is one of the highest attack power values in the game, his heal heals for a crap ton, almost 600 health. So 600 health is like healing up for almost two basic attacks worth of damage, which is a ton and that's basically why he's tier one because of his his move sets his ridiculously high attack power value 
his ability to completely counter one of the most popular pets in PvP and to just not take damage from dots and take super reduced damage multi-turn moves and he can heal up for a crap ton while dealing out a lot of damage so he's just like the perfect well-rounded pet it's really hard to find a team that he doesn't do well with just because he just you know he hits really hard heals up for a lot and takes less damage than everyone